Yo, what's up guys, Boss here, and I'm back from the YouTube video, and this time we're going to be doing something a little different, so whenever I did 12 win grand challenge videos, there's always people in the comments, you know, asking, could you start like earlier in the grand challenge or start at zero wins, so I'm not going to do like a whole grand challenge from zero to 12 wins, but what I am going to do is start this grand challenge at zero wins and go to, I don't know, five or six, we'll see how it goes, how fast the games are, and I'm going to be using this uh, Loon Cycle deck 3.1. Uh, you have really strong defense with the Knight and the Bomb Tower. Balloon, in my opinion, is one of the very best win conditions in the game. Snowball push back things away from the Balloon and Miner to get ship damage if you can't reach the tower uh, with the Balloon every time. So, quite a few people in the top 100 using the deck. I think it has a lot of outplay potential because it's fairly cheap, and Balloon, you can get death damage even if you don't make it to the tower. So, before we get in the first game, if you guys want to support me, you can use my credit code BOSS. Any Super Slug game supports me, the channel, and I really do appreciate all you guys who use my code. It means a lot. So, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think of this video. I've never done this before. I've always done Grand Challenge videos where I started eight or nine wins, but I feel like a lot of people really want to see me play against, I guess you could say, like, off-meta decks. Like, there we go. Okay, so we found a game. Um, versus Ivan Samuel. So we can just go ahead and... Split archers. Start the game off. And we'll go for minor. So yeah, in the comments, like, let me know what you guys think of this style of video. I, again, I don't know, like, what people are going to think of it. Because every time I do Grand Challenge videos, it's always starting at, like, 8 wins, attempting to go to 12. But, I don't know, I kind of want to see. So, this guy's got bar put. Um, so, probably Elixir Golem, which is pretty toxic. Um, luckily though, Elixir Golem is not that strong right now, but still pretty annoying to play against. Bomb Tower is going to help a ton. I think what we want to do here is pressure with a balloon in the opposite lane so we can't build a massive elixir golem push. He's going to have two choices, either ignore that, and if he defends it, he's not going to be able to... Okay, so that was a really bad play on his end because now he's not going to have the elixir needed to support this elixir golem push. So we're going to get the king activated here. And really easy defense on top of this. Elixir Golem thanks to the Bomb Tower. So now we're going to be able to counter push because we have so much of an Elixir lead. So we're going to go ahead and Balloon, Miner, and this probably is Tower Down because I think... Mm, nah, he might have a Tornado back in Cycle now. After that Bar Barrel, we'll have to see. But if he does, then he's going to be completely dry on Elixir. And yeah, he's so low on Elixir right now after that Bar Putt. So pretty easy win here. Elixir Golem's definitely a little bit off meta, but as I said, that's why I um, kind of want to do this uh, this vid video to see um, see if you guys would enjoy me enjoy uh, like some playing against some off meta decks like earlier in a grand challenge. Let's go for Mega Minion on top of the Baby Dragon, and yeah, this this looking like it's good game. Bomb Tower just basically gives you such an easy time against Elixir Golem. So we'll go for a, uh, just like an attempt to take, get the two crown. I don't even know why, um, just for the heck of it, I guess. But that, that's going to be a good game. So pretty easy. Going to put us at 1-0. and And we'll see how far we'll go. Maybe if, if, if games are pretty quick, we'll see if we can get to six wins, maybe. Good goal would maybe be 6-0. and So, 1-0. Let's go. Oh, we found that game pretty quick. So, reverse Unicorn. Guess I'll just... Uh, see, if he doesn't do anything, I'm probably just going to go for a Bar Barrel here. He's going to go Minions. So, Minions could be... I mean, if I had to guess what it is, it would probably be, like, P.E.K.K.A. Or, ooh, it could actually be Lava Hound. Could be something off-meta, though, you never know. 
Oh, he's gonna balloon right at the bridge. That's pretty aggressive. So there's no way that balloon gets a hit if we snowball, unless he has like a freeze or something crazy like that. I mean, if he zapped it, may have too, but. So he's gonna, he actually has got a lot of those. So we're gonna go knight and balloon at the bridge to pressure, knowing that he doesn't have minions in rotation and that he's low on elixir. <laughs> he just misclicked the zap. He hit nothing with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to split our archers. One in the side of the lava. One for the Inferno Drag. So that way our Inferno Drag doesn't take our whole tower. Mega Minion does end up killing the baby dragon. And then if we get a nice snowball off here. Hitting everything. We should be uh, not fine. Because the minions weren't hit. So yeah, we're not fun, um, but I think, wait, does that get a hit? No. We can come back, let's see. Cycle archers. I mean, if we can just get death damage from the balloon, then... He doesn't catch the miner. We actually have a really intense game right now. What the heck? So he's going to pre-place the balloon. Very interesting. Oh, wow. He goes minions. So we're going to go ahead and pressure right now. He's forced to go for a fireball on defense. So what I'm thinking of doing when I have the chance is going for a loon in the pocket. Yep, good opportunity. And then we're going to go ahead and snowball the minions because he's going to play those 100%. There they are. Do we get two hits? If we get two hits from the balloon, it's pretty safe to say it's game. We do get two hits. We go for a minor. Valk's out of hand, so I don't know if he has anything to catch it. So at this point, we're looking at for death damage from the balloon. Snowball, I think, takes it? Yep, that's going to be a good game. So nice win there versus that Lava Deck. Um, that Lava Deck's actually... Pretty good. Um, I don't see it very often, but that deck is actually, um, uh, well, this he's hiding his deck. That's actually what this person uses, Parker DeBoss. Um, so it's a pretty strong Lava deck, but it's definitely not one of the most popular variants you see. You typically see ones with Miner or Tombstone, but 2-0, so good start. Um, two really good wins so far. And here we go. We got our next game versus Phase Apex. So, um, so yeah, we'll see if we can keep going. Five or six wins. Uh, see if this guy wants to do anything here. He's going to go for a Goblin Barrel, so I guess I'm going to go for a Mega Minion. I unfortunately did not have a Bar Barrel in Cycle. I'm going to kind of go Knight and then see what he does from there. So we'll go Miner on top of this Princess. And his Ice Spirit's going to be level 8. I don't think that makes much of a impact, though, to tell you the truth. I think we go Balloon here just to see. Does he have a building? Rocket? What's he got? What Log Bay variant? Okay, Rocket comes down. So that's a negative trade, so I'm perfectly fine with that exchange. 
And that probably means he doesn't have a Tesla, because if he had a Tesla, I feel like he would have played it there, because it would have been the better play than playing a rocket on it. So that's why that makes me think that he's got a uh, probably a, an Inferno, if I had to, if I had to say. So we're going to go ahead and pressure here, knowing that his... Actually, we're going to go balloon like this to try to kill the princess. So, like, if he plays a building, the princess, what ends up happening, walks into the death bomb if he play it near it like that. I think not doesn't. He played the building pretty well, so that didn't happen. So we'll just go bar barrel on the barrel. And yeah, I don't think this matchup will be too bad. We might not be able to get balloon hits, but we sh certainly can get balloon death damage, which is all you need in some matchups. So I think we'll pressure here. He's going to go princess, so we'll go minor. He's going to... Okay. <laughs> well... Good rocket from our opponent. We'll just finish him. Fin finish him. Try to three crown him. Just get this game over with here. Yeah, yeah he knows it's over. Well, on to the next one. Three no. Good start. All right, here we go. Um, wow, so this guy's actually pretty good. Um, even though I'm only at three wins, this guy's actually... Yeah, I'll be adding out the search time because that actually took like 30 seconds to find. So, wow. Um, this is H uh, Ace Nacho. If you guys don't know who this is, he's from Chile. Chile. Um, I forget, is it Chile or Chile, how you pronounce the country? But this guy's uh, pretty good. Um, okay, well, it's kind of ironic because when I say that, he goes golem in the back, but I'm telling you guys, this guy is pretty good. Um, if I check his profile, unless it's a fake, which I don't think it is, um, I'll show you guys after this game. So I guess we'll bomb tower here. Pretty good defense. Nice. Bomb tower is kind of broken though, but I mean, good defense. Um, that was pretty nice. Cannon cart got taken care of, and again, he's gonna go. I think I'm gonna balloon this lane though, because I'm pretty much guaranteed to have the right lane. Um. I know it's not going to get a hit, but we are going to get death damage, which is all that matters. So, Mega Minion's getting targeted. Cannon Cart gets taken out easily. So, once again, good stuff here on defense. We're going to play the archers like this, so they don't, they're don't they not right next to the golem. So, when it pops, it doesn't hit them. We're going to attempt to take out his right tower with a miner to save Elixir. Um, and we'll see uh, if we can, uh, 
again, have good defense here. Wow, yeah, good win. Um, unless this is a fake, I'm pretty sure this guy. You might, you guys might not not know him at all, but he's a pretty good competitive player from Chile. Um, I don't think he's a very good ladder player. Like, I don't see him. Like, I don't. Well, let me see. But. Well, he had. I mean, he's won ten grand challenge. Well. Is this his mini account? Okay, this has to be his mini account because he got 27 in the global tournament, 20 max win. I, I think this is him, but it's a mini account because this is not... I think... You know what? I think his main account is Ace and then I Nacho, or it has that, like, one in between. So, okay. Well, I think that's him, but it must be... Anyway, 4-0, and I'll see you guys when we get in the next game because it looks like it's taking a little while to find the game. I don't know why, but so early in Grand Challenges, it can take sometimes still a very long time to find the games, which is crazy. Right, here we go. We got a game versus AK King. Um. Okay, he's gonna go Skellies in the back. That's fine. Bats and skeletons. All right. I'm actually gonna. Okay, yeah, we're gonna balloon 100%. No. I didn't think the hunter was going to shoot the balloon. I thought it was going to hit the knight again or the miner, but unfortunately it shot the balloon. So we aren't going to get a balloon to the tower, which sucked. Um, I thought that I thought that honestly the balloon was going to get a hit because we distracted that hunter, but that was not the case. I'm not going to go aggressive with a knight and balloon. I think we should just play defense here and then focus on offense afterwards. We're going to attempt to save our knight by going for a miner. Look at that, we don't even have to use the bomb tower, which is perfect because we get more counter push. Uh... Wow, he's going to RG. That was very aggressive, that RG. We're going to get a really nice positive elixir trade off of that. Whoa, I don't know how I feel about that fisherman. Good skeletons, though, on his end. That was unfortunate. Blocking the bridge, I mean. Those were good on his end. Okay, so the fact that he had a fisherman, that's great for us. Alright, we're going to pressure. We're in double now. We can apply pressure. We're going to balloon like this. Try to space everything out so it's harder for him to fireball everything. You guys might have seen that. Um, Anaban and some other good balloon players do that, so then that way it's harder for your opponent to fireball everything, whereas if you're always playing it in the same spot, clumping everything together, it's just easy for your opponent to hit everything, so pretty bad RG on his end. I don't think he should have played it in the left lane here, but I mean, he's going to get some damage, but all that's really doing is allowing us to 
counter push. So we can actually go same lane with our support cards after defending his RG. That's why I didn't really like that play. I mean, he gets some damage, sure, but I just... And again, he's being really, really aggressive. Uh... We'll, we'll snowball those skeletons, I think. If he thinks about fireballing on offense, then we're going to pressure right after we defend 100%. Yep, so now we go in, Bomb Tower's helping out, and that should probably be a good game. Even if the Balloon somehow doesn't take the tower here, we'll just, we'll win just because he'll have to spend so much Elixir defending it, and we have a huge damage lead anyway. So, nice win there, putting us at 5-0 right now, I think? Yeah, 5-0, so one more win will put us at 6-0, which was the goal of the video anyway. Um... And yeah, I'll see you guys when we find it, because it might take a while to find, kind of like some of the other games. Oh no, not, nope, that didn't take long at all. So here we go, this will be our last game, win or loss. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments again, like, uh, I mean, did you guys like this, like this kind of video? Never done a video like this before, where I played a, you know, Grand Challenge starting, you know... like early in the grand challenge so this guy's gonna go for spear goblins and a knight so i guess we'll just go for hmm. oh this is gonna be a pretty tough matchup because they think he's got tornado and bomb tower we can win it though, it's just going to be a little tricky. And yeah, we're not getting actually too many off meta decks, which is unfortunate. I thought the idea would be like you guys can see like some off meta decks. We haven't gotten too many of them unfortunately though. We're going to pressure here. And he's going to just tornado to the king, which is unfortunate. Yeah, we'll try our best. This is tough, though. I don't know why he logged there, but that's not going to do very much for him. He might go magic archer, um, so I kind of wanted to predict it just in case, but he didn't. It's all right, though, because at least we now have a tank down for the mega minion. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go same lane as this Magic Archer to take it out. Bomb Tower doesn't pull the balloon. That might be the mistake we're looking for. So yeah, we gotta, at this point, I would say keep up the pressure. Death damage here, hopefully. Wait, he just misclicked the bomb tower again. Wow. Okay. 
I'll take it. Oh my god, did- Oh, I was just about to say, did he misclick the bomb tower again? He didn't. I don't know why I thought he did. It just looked like it at first. Okay, we can let those wall breakers connect. I'm not really concerned about that side. Ooh, very nice snowball. Okay, we're gonna keep up the pressure. Oh no. <laughs> if that low battery thing somehow cost me, I would not have been very happy, to say the least. But we get a nice win there. Um, I don't think that's a very easy matchup. I think that um, misclick bomb tower definitely cost him there. Um, allowed us to get a balloon hit. But, you know, we're early on in a grand challenge, so more likely our opponents make mistakes. But um, I don't know why I wanted to do this video. I was feeling, I guess you could say a little... I don't know what the right word is, adventurous. Um, you know, wanted to try something I guess I've never done a video on. I'm not even sure if it's good content. I just, like, I've heard you guys, I mean, I guess I, like, I really have nothing to lose. I'll just, like, never do it again if it isn't, but, I mean, I don't know. Let me you guys, th like, let me know what you guys thought. Um, like, would you guys just rather always have grand challenges at the end, like, starting from 8 wins going to 12? To me, it doesn't seem like the gameplay is drastically different. Like, I mean, Maybe the opponents are, like, slightly worse, but I didn't notice, like, an insane difference, honestly. Um, and there, I just always had people, like, asking, I remember, like, could you start the Grand Challenge, like, earlier, like, not at 8 wins. So I just tried starting it at 0, going to 6, and, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think. Um, maybe I'll save this Grand Challenge and I'll finish it sometime going to 12 wins for another video with another deck. Um, maybe I'll attempt to use, like, 2.6 or log bait, a deck I've haven't made a video on in a really long time that I, I'm not really willing to use on ladder, but I'm willing to use in a grand challenge. But anyway, that's gonna be it for the video. Uh, make sure to like it if you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thanks again until next time, guys.